What? No, 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 let it go, let it go, time. First thing we're going to jump into is we, the people who love power, the people that are kind of mad Ghost is dead and mad they're bringing Tariq forward, we want to know, are we going to have a Tommy appearance? Well, Tommy did an interview earlier this year, dropping his insight on how he feels about the show at Mary J. Blige and if he's going to appear. Let's take mm -hmm. a look at this and then we'll come back and we'll discuss if Tommy is going to be in the first season. How do you feel about Mary J. Blige joining on to the sequel? I think it's pretty amazing. Um, I'm equally as excited about Method Man, but Mary J., I mean, what an icon. Um, what an incredible uh, Academy Award winning, uh, Academy Award nominated actor uh, joining the Powerverse. Um, I think it's going to make uh, for a huge drop, a huge impact. I think it's going to garner some huge audience. And then we're going to see what other power characters overlap, overlay um, right. in, into that series. But I'm, I'm really excited to see what she does. Right. It's 2020, new mind space, everybody. Yeah. Or maybe not new mind space, you know. But so 2020, we got that good vision. Right. So what is your vision for this year for yourself, maybe for your career, just personal goals? Um... Knowing that everybody is the real deal, whatever anybody's reality is, I'm trying to respect everybody's reality, regardless if it coincides with mine. Spread love, spread kindness. I love person. that. That's awesome. Now, let's, now, speaking of your career, what else are you looking to like venture into? Producing. Um, I got okay. a bunch of stories that I want to tell. Uh, I've been working with my agents. Uh, okay and um writing a lot of stuff okay and so i'm just trying to voice my own stories and you know i've been in the business for right. 30 years for so, a minute so it's um, time for you to uh, take yeah, that leap yeah take that leap yeah. and, and tell the stories and and surround myself with wonderful people like your boy like, curtis like like curtis 50 cent jackson and his brand new big star right over right, there right over there in hollywood now talking to him he is doing a new show on yeah, abc for life yeah. Did you, have you heard you screen it i screened a little bit of it it's cold it is. Um, it's also really dynamic because I think that um, Mr. Wright Jr.'s story is just is unbelievably. Insane. I mean, it's one of those things that, that the truth is stranger than fiction and that if you made this up, people probably wouldn't totally believe the story. And yet it's not just based in fact, it really mirrors the process. Um, right. So you get a real sense of what he had to go through. But you get to see some of the, you know, the prison and the hardships and the negotiations and right. how intelligent but also tough. So it's a really dynamic role. I'm excited to see how it comes to life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was your boy Joseph Secure. By the way, I don't need to see that man, I don't need to see that. By the way, he he's an outstanding actor. Whether whether you've seen him on something else besides this or not, he's a good actor. And I don't remember I'm, on it. I don't remember him on anything else. Man, he was in um, what's that crime show? I can't think of the name of it. Anyway. I'm gonna get to my point, then I'm gonna give it to Larry. Dad, man, right. let, let me let me finish my point, man. Dad. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> no one else that they've interviewed or have talked to have given you the Easter egg that he gave in that interview. And his Easter egg had nothing to do with Mary J. Blige. It had nothing to do with Method Man. He specifically said it's gonna be interesting to see what other characters from the power universe that they weave into book two ghosts right Which he's clearly telling you they're going to be bringing some of the people from the original power and my man support gaming done got in here and took my idea which was they probably bring tommy in close to the end of this season for mm -hmm. a reckless abandon the floor is yours now my brother larry Man, I'll tell you, see, people in the comments are, are talking about other things that he's been in. Like, I saw him on Ozarks, but Ozarks, he was already on power. And then somebody's saying that he would play a pregnant man on, on Grey's Anatomy, which I didn't see. That's it. That's what I was talking about. I didn't That's need to see what that. I was talking about. But when I see him in that interview versus play, him playing Tommy, he sounds like his name is like Scooter McLibby or something. He sounds like he sounds like one of Brett Kavanaugh's friends. And man, I'm just like, I guess that you know, I mean, you see, I'm used to seeing him as Tommy, you know. So it is interesting though to see what other characters they weave into Power Book Two. So 
I'm assuming Tommy's going to be in there. I can't imagine that a character as dynamic as him is not going to be at least for a, for an episode or two on that on that mm-hmm. show. Got to be. Know, I don't know exactly yeah. when, but if I'm not mistaken, I would. I mean, I would probably say okay. Be the way they the way that producers like to do stuff. They probably say let's bring him in somewhere about mid season. So if this if the show is starting to fall flat. They can show a preview with Tommy, and people will be like, "Oh snap, Tommy's coming in." They can get a nice mid-season, you know, jump on their ratings, and mm-hmm. you know, if if the ratings are already high, then they just jump a little bit higher. But it, it, I think they'll wait mid-season. So if things are falling a little flat, they're going to, you know, if the ratings are a little soft, that they'll get a nice little spike coming up with, you know, by showing that that preview with him coming up. So I expect to see it then. I'm not sure who else they might bring in there. I mean, they could obviously bring in um, what's his name? Um, what's the politician's name again? Um, Tate, Councilman Tate. Yeah, Councilman Tate. They can bring him in. You know, maybe uh, you know, maybe uh, Tariq decides he likes older ladies and hooks up with Ramona. I don't know. I mean, all kinds man. of stuff. Could happen. God, here you, <laughs> man. So I'm just can saying. You- can you let I Ramona said, go? I don't know. Let, I don't Ramona, know. Man, let Ramona and her slip and slide forehead go. Let it go, man. God, man, so, you know, going out of her forehead, man? man. You you know that chick got a slip and slide forehead. You can stick her right by a pool. And so does so Rihanna and Tyra Banks, but I'm not throwing either one of them out the window. And you ain't <laughs> never heard me say nothing of my love for either one of them chicks. You've heard me talk oh, about man. Candy Birds. You've heard me talk about um, um, Nia Long. You've heard and me talk none about none of them have foreheads. I'll give you that. None of them have foreheads. But here, I here's I have a thing for eight heads. I don't know. I like eight heads. I guess. Hey, ain't no, hey man, ain't nothing wrong with a forehead. You know man. what? Used to have one. got an eight head, and 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 Tasha. Tasha has an eight head, but they don't really show her eight head on the show so much. But when they show her in real life. I mean, her hairline starts like way back. I mean, her hairline is like, is like, uh, what's his name? What's what's JJ's dad from uh, like John Amos? Is that his name? Oh my god! Her hair, man. her hairline starts way back there, but she's still, she's still banging though. I give it to her. She, you know, she works it out somehow. Now, so. a lot of people, you know, who's a fan favorite that a lot of people want to see now. He might not be our fan favorite because you know how you know our feeling about movies and TV shows. Right. But a lot of my thugs out there love them some two bit. And yeah, I like I like two bit. He's not a fan. He's not my favorite, but I like some two bit. I like him too. He's not my favorite, but I do like right. him. And yeah. a lot of people are clamoring for two bit. Um, yeah, I can I can see that happening. I can see two bit because, like you said, like the the what's her name, the producer Courtney, what's her name. She's 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 wit two bit or the actor with two bit and she mm-hmm. and she likes Tariq so I can see her bringing I can see her bringing two bit back to life for the uh, not back to life he's still alive but I can see him I can see her bringing him up out of jail for this and and here's another name that Trisha C support Gamey William Mark everybody's talking about Aliza Marie she's going to be older she's already said she's going to be back in the universe. I don't see how she's not back in Tariq's universe. Aliza Marie, that's uh, Effie? No, no, no. Aliza Marie was um, cousin, was, was um, what was my lawyer's? Proctor's daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. I can yep. see that. Yeah. And because I really, truly still haven't gotten over that pathetic way they let Tommy kill cousin Benny. I still ain't got over that yet. That that, yeah, that, that was kind of that was kind of that wasn't. Re- I feel like that wasn't the best thought through scene. Like they could have they could have no. done cousin Benny and Tommy more justice in that. And instead, they had sort of you know they had him go out like a chump. I thought you know they did man. They did. Oh. It, it, I, I didn't like that. So, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be bringing you guys at least one video with updates about what's going on with power from now till September. 